Now here you're going to see a loco stop and you've seen it stop and we'll move it round bring it round so it moves round, hold it I'll try to okay bring it along we'll bring it along so it moves round and you'll see again okay now you're going to see a locomotive stop insul frog points which everybody will blame douche now what you do is you turn the power off and I'll show you what you do okay I'm going to show you what the problem is here and the average expert will blame the insul frog points but it's not but if you look here the bogey is pushing up the wheel at the front it's not on the track you can see I can move it that is not on the track and it's lifting that off the track and that's the only one on the track so what's happening and the track isn't level see and that should be solid so if I move it back a little bit now if I run it forward you'll see the bogey can you see the bogey lift and push it off the track I'll zoom out a bit you might be able to see better then here we go now you see here I'll try and move, let's move it forward a little bit so you can see it. The wheel is on the track. Now, I move it along, you can see the bogey is lifting and it's pushing the wheel off the track. And I'll show you what's wrong with this track. And now you can see the problem with your own eyes. The track just is not level. And what's happening is it's dipping in and the bogies are lifting the loco and that's why it's stopping and that is awful and loco move, the tracks move all the time and that is why and that is one of the things you've got to check you can see I mean you might think well that's not a lot but that's got to be two mil that's six inches imagine track maybe even three mil imagine track dropping that amount of amount in real life when a mil is three inches two mil is six inches three mil is nine inches and that is why I say on crossovers, your track has got to be level. Otherwise they won't do it. But what I will point out is, this loco does not have a lot of front bogey travel. All my other locos have gone over this fine. But there you can see what the problem is. Okay, the fix is a simple one. And this is why we use screws. And we do not use nails because the screws we can put straight back to where they came from simple stuff as I said all the other locos have gone over this absolutely fine you wouldn't have thought anything was wrong with it but crossovers everything has to be see, dead level on the parallel and the, and the straight so we get some heat on here to loosen it up lots of heat now I'm not pulling it directly from the kettle because I've got isolators there and I don't want to melt them so I'm just putting it on the area and because we've used UPVA yes it will loosen the glue but that's fine it will dry again now what we do is we get a ruler put it back where the dip is Jesus Christ that is embarrassing that's just what it is really time locos running over Just push them in, it's a doddle. Oh, I can see why this has gone down because it's 
challenge is getting a washer in here. There we go, I think. Take that out. Do is we put some ballast in there, that's not hard to sort out. Let's have a look. Well, that's better there, but then I'm still not happy with. If it's not right, you're going to have problems all day long. What I want to try and do is get it under the Struggling with this a bit. There we go. That's it. So all done. Spirit level. Put the spirit level on it. You can see that's dead level. Okay, we'll screw it down. And that's why I say you use screws, because you just put them back where they came from. They're not doing anything to be honest. I think I'll take that out. What we'll do is we'll put ballast over what we've done, that's not hard to do. Okay, do you want to bring the loco back and we'll give it a whirl? And action. I'm doing this all in real time as you can see. And bring it forward. And back again. And forward. No, it's still not right. And you may be able to see that the bogey here is jamming underneath. It's not level. I've got to lift the point slightly. Now what I had to do, which I didn't film, was I had to put a couple of washers here. I leveled that, leveled that, and as I say, everything's got to be straight, otherwise it's not going to work. And if we can bring the loco back and through, nice and slow. And you will see where the loco was stopping, and again, it no longer is stopping. And back again, please. But this loco does need really flat track and back again. Otherwise, because there's not much travel in the front bogey, but you can see it's fixed. Thanks for watching. And here we have the trucks going through the crossover that I've now made sure is level, parallel on the perpendicular and the horizontal. And you can see it's as smooth as silk. It's not insole frog points, it's not the loco. In my view, a lot of people's problems is their track, and in this case, it was my track.